It's always been a dream of mine to visit Santorini, and little did I know that it's also my namesake island, named for St. Irene. That floating door you just saw is actually the entrance to where we stayed our first night. The entire west coast of the main island is actually the edge of a volcanic caldera, so all of the beautiful properties that are so quintessentially Santorini are built right into the cliffside. So many of these hotels look tiny or non-existent from the street, but once you enter, you need to prepare yourself for a ton of stairs but the views are just glorious. Petit Palace is just a couple minutes from Fira, the main city of the island, so we spent our first afternoon exploring. We finished our afternoon in Fira with fish pedicures, which is probably the most overwhelming feeling, oh my gosh, but when in Santorini. We rented a car and it was the most picture perfect car. It was perfect for Santorini, a little baby blue Fiat. <laughs> so it was very easy for us to do and see whatever we wanted. The main road goes along the caldera and the island is very small. So it was very easy and fast to navigate. After enjoying an afternoon in Fira, we headed over to Ia, which is the village you probably always, always picture when you think of Santorini. The beautiful white and blue homes and churches, just picture perfect. And the drive from Fira to Ia is only about 15 minutes. We arrived in Ia literally the first day of the season, April 1st, which I'm really, really happy about. Many of the properties were still closed for a couple weeks and there was hardly anyone else staying at ours, so we were really able to enjoy a relaxing few days before the village got busy for the summer season because it is probably the most touristy Greek island. And here are all of the gorgeous properties built right into the Ia's cliffside and we stayed at Andronis Luxury Suites and it was nothing short of a dream. Our trip was for our third wedding anniversary and it was just perfection. Even our dinner at their restaurant was picture perfect. Our table perched right over the cliff and it was all really private because again it wasn't busy yet. And you can check out all of our photos from our trip on my blog. I have links to all of the different posts in my description box. And so straight ahead is the main building on the street level and we stayed in the Zeus suite and it was really great because we didn't have to go up and down the cliff stairs all day. And plus Ia is just so beautiful from above. suite had two private terraces and a hot tub that you can climb into right from the room and out the other side was one of our terraces where we had breakfast every morning and I'm not even a breakfast person but I have to say that there's nothing like a Santorini breakfast or a Santorini sunrise and both of which we were able to enjoy from our terrace at the same time. Ia is almost entirely a pedestrian village, so comfortable shoes are an absolute must when you head out to explore because obviously you'll be walking the whole time. And what I really loved about where our hotel was located is that it was right at the beginning of the village. So getting to our car and even getting our luggage in and out was very easy. If we stayed deeper in the village, it would have become a lot more exhausting and complicated and just hectic. So I loved the location and again, Ia is built right into the cliffside so there's going to be a ton of stairs so again, comfortable shoes will be your lifesaver.
Sophia's Sunset is probably one of the most famous in the world. So every evening, we walked over to the tip of the island to check it out. And if you're going to be going during a busier month, you definitely want to get there early and really reserve your spot because it gets quite crowded. Um, it, yeah, just wasn't too bad at the time that we went because it was literally the beginning of the season. But we also found a little abandoned area to ourselves. The privacy was nice. If you look all the way over to the right, you'll see ruins of an old Byzantine castle. And this is actually the most popular and famous place to view the sunset. But I don't like crowds anyway, so I'm glad we didn't go there. We planned to, but we got a little rerouted by accident. So you can see how crowded that area is during our trip. So I can't even imagine during a busier month. One thing you just have to do while you're in Santorini is see the island from sea. We went on a day cruise with Sunset Ia sailing and it was such an awesome experience. They grilled lunch for us right on the side of the boat. We stopped along a ton of different places on the main island as well as the volcano where we were able to swim in natural hot springs. And just seeing the iconic white stone buildings from a different perspective was really cool. So here we are sailing away from Amudi Bay and right on top those white stone homes, that is the village of yeah, so it was really cool seeing it this way and even just the layers in the caldera were beautiful. It was a beautiful day. back at the hotel just hanging out and again we went a little off season so we had so much privacy check out Wasim in the pool all by himself I'm in the restaurant all by myself really awesome so if you like privacy and not like crowds and things like that I definitely recommend going a little off season but of course the weather will be warmer and much better for swimming and things like that if you go in like peak summer season but if you win some you lose some and it's all up to you <laughs> 